Hi everyone, I'm Lisa. Today I'm going to be showing you a Holiday Eve makeup look. Uh, today I'm just wearing this green Lily Pulitzer holiday dress and I'm going to be showing you how I came up with this look using the Pat McGrath Holiday 2022 collection along with the Clionetta stained glass weathered and oculus and lucidium colors. So if you're interested in seeing how I came up with this look, then please keep watching. I'm starting off with my Merit Skin Serum. And I'm adding the Iconic Bounce. Now I'm adding a little bit of the IT Primer. It's mattifying, I think. Okay, and the way that I'm doing it is from like thinnest to thickest on the skin. This is the Ambient Hourglass. Uh, it looks like the, ooh, it's kind of hard to tell, but it is the color of my skin, but on the back. <laughs> Plus I've been rubbing my face, so it's a little red. So the same with my eyes. I start off with a lighter cream, and then I put the heavier cream on. The heavier cream is this Tatcha Peony. It is a thicker cream. But I do like to have everything nice and moist before I start. Okay. Now I'm adding the under eye cream. This is very brightening. <laughs> Now I'm adding the SAIE bronzer. Putting all the creams first and then the powders. Now I can kind of do that and open here. Now I'm adding the Laura Mercier setting powder. Just kind of dabbing it on. When you brush, you tend to stimulate the skin. And if you have oily skin, then it can make it oilier <laughs> during the day. All the products that I use are non-acnogenic. Uh, I put the, all the ingredients in Skin Charisma. I'm going to line my lips with Auburn from ABH. Now I'm adding Sugar Plum by ABH. Mm, it's a nice dark color. Now I'm adding the Lip Injection Angel Kisses. I'm going to set the under eye with <laughs> my Charlotte Tilbury transparent shadow here. Like you can see, this was really amazing. I'm going to add my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. I just use my fingers here. I'm now priming my eye with Mario, Makeup by Mario. Now, I know that if I use a different primer, um, these colors will come out a lot more vibrant, but I like to have a more natural diffuse look, um, so I like to do it this way. And take the, you know, take the time to kind of blend it. 
to start off with the Kofi liner on the waterline. I know the look now is to do the lighter color on the inner eye. I do have a lot of different liners, but I do like the way the darker looks. I'm closing my eyes and getting the upper line. It's a trick for making the eyelashes look darker when I do my eyelashes. Now I'm using the Pat McGrath liner. This is a really good smudge liner. And I kind of flick it up just a little bit and a little bit. I don't need a lot because this stuff is potent. <laughs> then I just smudge it with this large shader brush. Now I use a curling wand to do my lashes. And then I like to this little kit here. I use, um, this is basically a primer for your eyelashes and I start off with the purple. And I'm kind of doing things backwards. I like to do my lashes first. And you use the blue side. This is just the primer. Then we put the actual mascara on. Now there is another trick of adding some powder on top of the uh, volumizer here before you put on the mascara. And it'll make it a little bit um, longer, thicker. To do that, I'm going to be using this Becca, and I'm just kind of like brushing this powder on my lashes to make them really stick when I do the, I make them thicker and longer when I do my mascara. This is basically an under eye powder, but I'm using it for my lashes. Now I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes. And you can see with the primer and the powder, it really um, makes a difference. And curling of the lashes make a difference. Now I'm adding this fluff and hold. mainly because <laughs> my eyebrows, when I'm looking at a lot of my pictures, they're sticking out all over the place. So, hmm. trying to tame them. I actually think I like this hourglass a little bit better. So I'm just going over a little bit. Okay, but now for what we were really waiting for, which is the um, Pat McGrath new holiday collection. I'm starting off with this goldy color, and I'm not going up past like this area right here. And it is darker than my skin. I'm using this as my transition color. Now I'm going into this um, lighter color. Like it's like a skin show type color, typical in the Pamograph collection. I'm putting that right under the eyebrow. Now I'm gonna go in with this brown color putting it right you know, in the crease and blending. 
I know that this could be very dark. I'm not careful, so I'm using a very light hand. And I'm using the darker green on the edge. And in. Okay, I'm going in with this bronzy color. It looks light in the pan, but it looks magnificent. Like, definitely a nice bronzy, dark color. I'm going to add a little bit of this goldy yellow in the center. Now I did not use the glitter primer. So I'm going to try it now with a little bit of glitter primer. Alright, so I did put glitter primer and I'm tapping this into my eye and I definitely see a huge difference in the color payoff. Going to add that little bit of gold on the middle area. And on the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to add this lighter gold right underneath the crease. This will make the eyes look I'm wondering too if I try a little bit different lighting if you could see it a little bit <laughs> so I turned off the lights I'm thinking maybe you might be able to see it better but it's kind of strange to me because um, in my camera when I'm looking it looks um, really light but when I'm looking down I'm seeing all the colors so I don't know <laughs> maybe it will show up differently when um, I put it all together I'm hoping that it will really show how pretty this color is and if not I'll take some pictures and um, put them in picture in picture so I really darkened up this green on the outer edge. And I think I'm going to darken up the crease a little bit too. Just kind of going like this. Okay, so that was with um, the Pat McGrath, but I want to see if this shows up a little bit. I mean, I see it so beautiful here. I think it looks great, but I'm going to add a little bit of the uh, Clayonata color on top so you can see if, or I can see if you can see this a little bit better. See this green? This is from the stained glass collection. Look at that. Like that is showing up more. Look at that green. <laughs> that green is everything, right? It's quite quite a different color. Um, 
I kind of want to go, so I'm going to just kind of blend this in a little bit. But what I want to do is maybe take a gold from here and pair it and you can really see a difference. Whoa, see that? That is quite a difference. And this is an indie brand. So I'm trying to go with a gold and uh, green. I think that's it. Okay, so let's look at this eyelid one more time. You can see the shifts with that Clanata colors. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna follow up with some blush and be done with this look. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go, I think, with the brighter color again. Mainly because my camera is being a little bit weird. It's so bright. I don't know why my camera is showing up so bright. I think um, there was some kind of um, software update. And I'm going to have to play with that. Put that blush, <laughs> that highlight. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of this color that came out um, recently from Clayonata, just on the inner corner to give it a little pop. And it is a green. It is um, a very different color than the jewel colors, but I did want to add it in to give it a little brightness on the corners. And now we're <laughs> really popping. <laughs> okay, so in conclusion, I think that the Papagrath stuff is very nice for adding like a base layer or just doing something simple. But if you're really looking for a Vagoon look, then adding the uh, indie brands like uh, Cryonata Cosmetics and using some of their stained glass collections, some of the newer bundles that have come out, I think you could really make it a baboom look. <laughs> you know, that look where you're like, okay, I'm on point. This is good. So hopefully you enjoyed this and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>